Greetings everybody, I am Lobo, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. You didn't think we were leaving here all saying bye to my little space hamster, did you? No. Squeak! Ha! Alright. Now we're going to continue focusing on the welfare of our crew, but which crew member are we focusing on today? Well, I don't remember. So, Yeoman? Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Jack! Wonderful. I think that's right, actually. I think that's who we're going to talk to anyway. So, Subject Zero. Jack has a personal matter she wishes to discuss. Talk to Jack on the sub-level beneath the Normandy Engineering Deck. I am on my way. Jack! It's been a while. What's up? I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... A little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Well, I am saddened to hear that, Jack. You are rightfully pissed off. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big f***ing bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. No, absolutely not. You deserve this. And later on, if you want to hit Cerberus where it hurts, I got your back. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. No, Jack, you all know me nothing. You're helping me out. Remember, you're on my ship. You're on my mission. You're helping me complete my mission. Hey, guys, made a wrong turn. To Pragya. The jungle planet Pragya is overrun by choking hypergrowth caused by industrially mutated plant species. This, combined with its relative isolation and lack of population, has made Pragya an occasional base of operations for drug runners, weapon smugglers, pirates, mercenaries, terrorists, and intelligence agents seeking secrecy. Sustained habitation on Pragya is extremely difficult, where mutant and even poisonous plant life can overgrow colonies in days instead of years. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? 
Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah. They build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Trust me, you'll feel a lot better once you see it burn to the ground. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. I brought Miss Lawson along. That's all of them. Yep, I brought you along so you can kind of enlighten us about the crap that your people have been doing here. Millions, billions of miles away from the nearest set of eyes who could see how you are torturing little kids, conducting unethical experiments. Oh, I am so disappointed in you, scumbag. Before we move on, remember, we are still funding a mission. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in myself. I want to watch this place burn. Yeah. Though I do have a feeling it's not going to be quite that easy, Jack. But we'll do it. We just might hit some resistance along the way. But if we do, all the better, right? Hey, Miranda. So knowing what they did to Jack, what you, your people, did to Jack, you still think you're the good guys? I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. Yeah, see, this is what your people do, Miranda. This is why Cerberus has to be taken down. Um, not yet. Let's finish looking around up here first. Hey, Miranda. It just occurred to me, this better not be some kind of Cerberus ploy to get Jack back here. Very interesting that you decide to recruit her. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew... He won't find out. The elusive man requested operation logs again. Interesting. He's getting suspicious. Sounds like this facility went rogue. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. Yeah. And I think it's all too convenient that that's, like, out here in the open. Is that company policy, Miranda? Put incriminating video logs in the entryway for anybody here upon entering? I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say he didn't deserve to keep it. Based on what he was doing, what he was a part of here. No, well, I think when it comes to Cerberus, you did what you had to do, Jack. Let's be careful around here. And also, remember to secure funding. Hello? Oh boy. Alright, not gonna lie, I jumped a little bit. I thought those were bigger than they actually were. Ooh. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. They actually rewarded you for attacking? 
I still get warm feelings during a fight. That's not good. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. No. Well, yes. Let's keep moving. I mean, let's do that. Knock, knock. Oh, can't believe those Varen made me jump. That's ridiculous. Security officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Or did you? Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Well, it does, though. Because you said you got out when the guards left. And they probably left to handle the riot. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Varen? It's a fresh kill. What Varen? That Varen? I don't know, Jack. You know what? Before we head down there, let's see what was through here. Not too much. Well, I mean, resources. Resources are always good. Though I don't know if I have much of a need for any more resources than what I already have. Then again, it could benefit us in the future, so. Hello? Hi! Who said what now? Y'all being sneaky. Why'd they need a morgue? This was a small facility. A lot of children died here. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Well, you don't know what the other kids went through here, Jack. You just know your own experience. There's no way we can get up here, is there? Like the catwalk, there's a door over there. Maybe just not yet. So strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. Yeah, lots of feelings. You got a history with this place. They've seen us. Here we go. Hello. I know that ain't all of you. What's the blood pack doing here? Any answers for me, Miranda? Hey, why don't y'all check the rooms on the left? I'll check the rooms on the right. No. That ain't working for you. That'd make this whole process go by a lot quicker and easier. We kept children here? I saw something. I don't know where, though. But yes, they did keep children in here. That's the whole point. Circuit boards. Yeah. Funding the mission. Y'all can help fund the mission too. This is your... This... It's a two-way mirror? My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Probably also soundproof. They never knew, Jack. 
They never knew. To them, you're just the big bad monster Cerberus brought out every once in a while to kill them off. I must have come through here when I broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Well, yeah, this whole place is a bad place. It's a Cerberus place. What about this, Jack? Does this bring back any memories? Seems like it might have been significant. All right. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. No, not for your safety, Jack, for their benefit. But you were their... their ultimate weapon. And they had to protect their weapon at all cost. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. I know it's hard to accept. But they did horrible things to those kids. Maybe even worse than what they did to you. I'll take it. And I'll take this too. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. Well, no, it wouldn't be. Because you were a kid. This was a long time ago. Also, you were drugged most of the time. You were only let out of your cell every so often. You didn't know what was going on. They didn't want you to know what was going on. None of that is your fault. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be like that, Jack. Not everybody's like Cerberus. Hey, Arash. It's Kirin. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put him down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. Listen, if you want to make it in there to talk salvage, you'd better leave me alone. If you're just here looting, I got no problem with you. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then we'll see. Kill them on my own. I want All right, well, you. that's how you want to play it. Who am I to stop you? Oh, that almost hurt my feelings. Fine, you want to play peekaboo? I know how to play peekaboo. I see you. All right. Let's clean up. Oh, I lost my incendiary. That's lame. Only room left is my old cell. Whoever Arresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. 
Might as well do it on his corpse. Sounds good to me. If you want to go on ahead and do that, you can. I need supplies and funding. A rush? Knock, knock. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Aresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Oh. He's one of the other kids. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. That. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never going to restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Get out of here. Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. Oh boy, Jack. I mean, he was, he was, he's, he'd lost it. I don't know if letting him go was the right thing. I, I don't know what his funding situation is like or what he has done. Steps he's taken to restart this facility. Can't let that happen. We can't punish somebody before they commit the crime either. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Absolutely. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. Look at the bright side. This place is empty now. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. No. You were a child in a rough situation. That's how you coped. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. There won't be any here in a few minutes. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. Yeah. This was your world, huh? You ready to leave it behind? See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell.
There we go. Mission complete. Facility on Pragya confirmed destroyed. Concerned that previous cleanup crew failed to destroy all records. Surviving facility scientists already dead, either from uprising or after facility shutdown. Jack should have no further emotional issues distracting her from the mission. You really believe that? For all the crap y'all did to her? You really believe she's going to be just fine from now on, huh? This has been your daily reminder that Cerberus are monsters. Jack and Miranda are in the middle of a... Disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Shut up, Joker. Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. I'd like to see you do that, Jack, because apparently the cheerleader's still in denial about what her people are doing. But the mission comes first. So do I say what I want to say? Or do I say what I need to say in order to make sure this mission gets done? Oh, dang my responsibilities. I want to tell her off, but the mission comes first. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. F*** your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Oh, don't thank me yet. Once this mission is over, your well-being is no longer my problem. Well, I suppose we should check and see how everybody else in our dysfunctional little family is doing. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Calibrations. Calibrate my foot. I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. Hey, Commander. Glad we figured out Jack is crazy, because I was really up in the air, just hanging there. She ain't crazy. Jack was wronged. And like most people who are wronged, she just wants justice. That's it for now. See ya, Commander. She just wants the world to work how it's supposed to work. Somebody does something wrong, they pay for it. They face consequences for it. Unless they have money or they have power or connections. Some type of privilege, all of a sudden, rules don't apply. Hey, Doc. Can we try to keep things professional around here? Shepard, how can I help? Don't be weird. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but... Won't pry. Solarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Well, why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdalar region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. <sighs> Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but 
actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people, faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Unlike those other ingrates in your family. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait, don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, mature rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. Oh, never be able to tell looking at you. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Help preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography bit. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously in that case, regardless. Thank you. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes. I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. No. No, Talizor, I'm sorry. I was being unprofessional. I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. Good example being everything I did once I left here. But to think I could put my own happiness ahead of the needs of the galaxy. You've never been selfish. If anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt, maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I, I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharos two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Lieutenant Alenko died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long, and I never imagined you'd ever see past this. Well, of course, there's so much more to you than that visor. But, I mean, you, you didn't have to put so much tint on it. It does make it really hard to, to read you sometimes. Are you saying you could die if we were together? It's always a risk. Maybe the reaction would be minor. Maybe it would put me down for a few weeks. Or maybe it would kill me. But that's not what I'm concerned about, Shepard. I don't want you distracted. I don't want what I want to hurt this mission. It's too important. Yeah, but... What if... What you want is what I want, and if I don't get what I want, maybe this mission is already doomed. Oh, but that's being selfish and stupid again. We do have to put the mission first. And then what if you do get sick? I mean, that jeopardizes the mission anyway. I want to pick all three of these, because they're all true. Can I say I want to be with you, but this is too dangerous. I need to think about it for a bit. I don't know. You've given me a lot to consider, Talia. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. I should get back to these repairs anyway. Oh, boy. Lay that wisdom on me, Zaid. Get a knife stuck in the right way. Oh, my goodness. Pull that plate button. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... 
you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy. But you let a wretch live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. Well, I mean, it's hard not to take offense to that, but... You know what? It's a start. I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. You did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thanks, okay? Let's... Let's get back to work. Yeah. Well, let's get back to work. You mean I should get back to work, right? You're just kind of hanging out. Anyway... Do you think, uh... That's probably going to be it for us today, guys, so... I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That is Tally. Um, that would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.